Hi, welcome to Mad English TV. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to invite guests over for a meal. Okay, now probably the easiest way to do this is just to say, would you like to come over for lunch? Or would you like to come over for supper or dinner? Supper and dinner mean the same thing. Okay, so let's take a look at this conversation here. This couple says, we're wondering if you'd like to come over for dinner tomorrow. So come over means come to our house or come to my house. So this is a couple, husband and wife, let's say, saying this. So they're saying, uh, we're wondering if you'd like to come over to our house. So, but usually we don't say to our house, we just say come over, okay? So that's what come over means. So we're wondering if you'd like to come over for dinner tomorrow. And she says, sure, I'd love to. Thanks for the invite. And they say, that sounds great. Do you have any dietary restrictions? Okay, now this is very polite. It's very polite to ask if someone has dietary restrictions or dietary preferences. Okay, because a lot of people can't eat a certain food. All right, like some people can't eat meat or some people can't eat gluten. Okay, now some people have dietary restrictions for religious reasons. For example, Muslims and Jews can't eat pork. Okay, Muslims can only eat food that's halal and Jews can only eat food that's kosher. Okay, now there's a lot of Hindus and Sikhs that can't eat any meat. Okay, so you need to be sensitive to people's religious beliefs. Now some people have dietary restrictions for ethical or moral reasons. Okay, some people believe that animals are basically like humans. So if you eat an animal, it's the same as eating a human. Okay, some people think that. But other people might think that it's okay to eat animals, uh, except not the way Western society does it. Like, Western society consumes a lot of meat. Like, for example, if you go to a farm here in Canada, if you go to a chicken farm, there's just going to be thousands and thousands of chickens in a small area. They're crammed into small cages where they can't breathe. Okay, so a lot of people might say, yeah, you know what, it's wrong to treat animals that way, but it's okay to eat them as long as they're in the wild or as long as they get treated well before they die. Okay, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of different reasons why someone might have ethical or moral concerns about eating animals. But anyway, that's one reason why someone might have a dietary restriction. Uh, some people might also have dietary restrictions for health reasons. Okay, they might have an allergy or an intolerance to a certain food. For example, someone might be lactose intolerant. That means they can't drink milk or eat cheese or other dairy products. Anything made with milk is called dairy. Okay, some people might be gluten intolerant. That means they can't eat wheat or other grains. Okay, now I want to teach you two important words, vegan and vegetarian. Vegans don't eat any animal products. Okay, no milk, no eggs, no cheese, nothing. Okay, now vegetarians don't eat meat, but they do eat eggs and drink milk and eat cheese and other animal byproducts. Okay, so sometimes you'll hear the word strict. They'll say, I'm a strict vegan or I'm a strict vegetarian. Now, the reason they use this word is because strict means you follow the rules. I know some vegans who eat ice cream, okay? And ice cream is made from milk, all right? So they're sort of breaking the rules. So the word strict means they stay to the rules. So they say, I'm a strict vegan. Okay, now sometimes you'll hear the word meatitarian. A meatitarian is someone who only eats meat. They don't eat vegetables, they don't eat anything else, they just eat meat. This isn't really a real word, it's more of a joke, but sometimes people say it, okay? So if you really like meat, you'd say, I'm a meatitarian, okay? 
Now, here are some important terms that you'll see in almost every restaurant or coffee shop. Okay, gluten-free, lactose-free, sugar-free, caffeine-free. Free means without. Okay, so if you want a coffee without caffeine, then you would order a caffeine-free coffee. Or if you want uh, some drink without milk, then you would order a lactose-free drink. And then, instead of milk, it would probably have soy milk or almond milk, okay? Those are some popular substitutes for real milk. Okay, so let's just look at this conversation here. So this person says, wow, this is great pizza. Did you make it? Yeah, I always make my own pizza because I'm a vegan. How do you make pizza without cheese? All pizza has cheese, right? How do you make pizza without cheese? And vegans can't eat cheese. Okay, let's see what they say. Well, I used blended cashews for this pizza. It works great. Wow, I thought it was real cheese. That's really cool. How about you? Do you have any dietary restrictions? I'm allergic to peanuts, but other than that, I eat everything. That's good to know. I won't make any peanut butter cookies for you then. Okay, so I want to know, what are your dietary restrictions? Let me know in the comments right down there, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.